She walked out in protest after Nairobi Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko bashed her during this year's Madaraka Day celebrations in Nairobi. The walk that left Kenyans divided on social media platforms over the conduct of the governor. Leaders calling on Sonko to apologize to the woman representative. Instead of, if it happened somewhere in private and all that, I think it would be uh, reasonable. But singularly, the kind of words that uh, I think the governor used were quite unfortunate. And that's not about uh, men or women behaving in a certain way. It is us as leaders just recognizing that we have standards uh, that are expected of us. There is a law on leadership and integrity on how we are supposed to carry and conduct ourselves. There will be people overwhelming we voted for Mike Sonko. So, or well, they got a package. I mean, they should, people should not complain. But Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko says he did nothing wrong, a clear indication that an apology was not forthcoming. Sonko insisting that until Saturday he had a good working relationship with Pasaris. My women reps frustrated at uh, with the fact that they don't have enough latitude to, to be able to effect their programs are uh, going to governors and they, they are confused as whether to beg, to influence or to demand. Nairobi woman representative Esther Pasaris, who is currently outside the country on official duty, said on her Twitter page, and I quote, women must be respected in boardrooms, in matatus, and public functions. My service to the people of Nairobi. End quote. Even as observers continue to take different stands in the Sonko Pasaris stiff, for the two of them it remains a staring contest where Kenyans are waiting to see who will blink fast. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.